Isang magandang-magandang buhay po mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul at sa ngalan po ng mga pari, mga brothers, mga seminarista ng aming pong kongregasyon sa Pilipinas at sa Macau, doing all for the Gospels, at sa ngalan din po ng mga pari ng Archdiocese of Manila at ng TB Maria, kayo po'y aming tinitipan at uh, inaasahan at inaanyayahang makiisa. Ngayon pong ikalabing isa, 11th day of August 2019, ito po ang 19th Sunday, ikalabing siyam na linggo ng karaniwang panahon. And as usual, gusto po nating batiin ang ating pong mga regular na mga kasambuhay, ang ating pong mga nagpapagaling na mga kaibigan at mga kamag-anakan na may sakit, no? In a very special way, we lift up our cancer patients to the Lord. At gayon din po, yung pong mga elderly, yung mga matatanda, tumatanda, no? At yung inyo pong mga super alalay na mga caregivers, no? We'd like also to pray para po sa ating mga military at police personnel, mga doctors at mga health workers, lalo-lalo na po yung mga nakababad sa mga emergency rooms ng iba't ibang mga ospital. And of course, hindi po natin makakalimutan ang atin pong mga OFWs, Overseas Filipino Workers, lalong-lalo na po ang mga walang nakikita kung hindi ang karagatan, ang ating mga seafarers, no? mga seamen at seawomen. We'd like also to greet and to pray para po sa ating mga Canada-based mission partners, si Brother Alex Pideris, Dorothy Santos Merck, Annie Adorna, Emily at Dante Reyes, Joy at Alex Reyes, Doktora Jo Adorna, Guzman at Alicia Adorna, at ang inyo pong mga kapamilya. Gayun din po ang ating mga long times na mga kasambuhay, si Leslie Masigan, ang kanyang mommy, at ang kanyang mga anak, si Miguel, si Sammy at si Jake, at si Lourdes at Tony Choa, and uh, si Ed at Norma Arrojado, si George at Noemi Villaruz ng Villaruz and Villaruz CPA, si Didith at Joey Jacob, si Mariel Diaz, at gayon din po ang kusina ni Kambal, ni Irma at Delio San Miguel, ang... Uh, Atin pong magkaibigan na Corazon Ochoa at Rosita Kauyan dyan po sa Discovery Bay sa Hong Kong. Ang family po ni Alma Gonzales, ni Catherine Pablos, ni Chona. At gayon din po, uh, we would like to greet and to pray para po kay Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, May Asuncion Recio, Rachel Esteban at Leilani Paladio Himotea. Greetings at prayers din po para po sa ating mga, mga kaibigan na nakilala po natin sa ating mga Holy Land pilgrimages. Ang spell group ng March 2019, ang grupo po ng October 2018 ng Journeys of Faith, kinabibilangan po ni, Rand, ni Father Randy, Father Charlie, Father Joe Obbs, Father Joy, ni Grace, ni... Uh, Jimmy, ni Joyce, ni Marie, ni Jane, ni Geraldine, no? si Cora, si Nino at uh, siyempre po ang mag-asawang Willie at Arlina Onglao, si Anton at ang kanyang auntie na si Juliet O'Reilly, Mr. and Mrs. Benji Datok at si Chris C. Highland, Rosely C. Gayun din po ang mag-asawang Rosebel D. at William D. at ang Tantwiko Group ni Dana, Kathleen at Tal and ang mag-asawang Grace Polido Tan at Nonoy Tan at uh, si Silvet at si Iris at Val Rivero. We'd like also to greet ang ating pong pilgrimage group naman ng Executive Resources ng March 2019 kasama po si Manny at Lulu Recto at ang kanilang buong angkan at si Pearl at Rafi Rodriguez. Uh, para po sa linggong ito, nais nating ipanalangin at batiin ang mga ubispo po natin na nagdiriwang ng kanilang Episcopal Anniversary 
of ordination. No? Uh, anniversary of Episcopal ordination. Yan. Si Archbishop Angel Lagdameo, a retired Archbishop po ng Haro, siya po ay inordain bilang obispo 1980. Yan. Si Archbishop Florentino Lavarias, uh, 2004, siya po ang Archbishop ng San Fernando, Pampanga. At dyan naman po sa pagadian si Bishop Emmanuel Cabahar, isa pong Redemptorist Bishop na inordain ng 2004. No? Happy anniversary po mga uh, Archbishop at mga Bishops and may the Lord continue to bless yung inyo pong ministry. No? Mula naman po sa ating mga iba't ibang social media accounts, dumating po ang mga sumusunod na mga mass intentions that we would like to acknowledge. Si Jeanette de la Cruz would like us to pray for healing ni Lawrence Mack. Si Cresteta Obedosa, na isyang ipanalangin din natin ang healing ni Ernesto Obedosa. Si Rainiel Antonio, sabi niya, salamat po sa panalangin sa lahat ng mga Pinoy seamen. Just, when, just want you to know, kanya, no matter how bad our internet connection, I always try to get online on Saturday, Sunday. Uh, and please pray for us, for strength, and all our seamen all over the world. Ayan, no? Mabuhay ka, Brother Rainier Antonio. At gayon din po, prayers para sa fast recovery ni Nick Semenyuk. Ah, ah, dyan po sa Honolulu, si Nick Semenyuk at si Mary Elsa Semenyuk. Ayan. At gayon din po, special intentions para kay Donya o Dona Levarda ng St. Joseph Parish dyan po sa Alfonso Cavite, yan, Dona Levardo. At gayon din si Domingo Alarcon, dyan naman po sa Dasmariñas, Cavite. Eternal repose, prayers para po sa mga kaluluwa ni Jose Rarang, Lucia Reyes Rarang, Fidela Capistrano, Antonio Capistrano, Jose Capistrano, Jaime Capistrano, Ricardo de Leon, Mon Antonio Monroy Sr., Lucy Rozon, Petra Fabic, Fred Winston, Charlie Leva, Rufel Lihay Lihay, uh, Mark Oberes, Saf 44, Fallen Heroes of Marawi, at lahat po ng mga departed souls, lalo-lalo na po yung mga nangangailangan ng prayers dyan po sa purgatory. Okay, ngayon po sa atin pong uh, salita ng Diyos on this the 19th Sunday of Ordinary Time, ang topic po na pwede nating pagnilayan sa mga pagbasa has got to do with authentic faith. Na ang authentic faith waits in hope. Yan. Naalala ko yung sinabi po ni Father Reynero Cantalamesa, ang uh, preacher po ng Holy Father. Sabi po niya, yung faith matanda, merong mas bata na kapatid. Aha, dos hermanas. Ayan. So, yung matanda si faith, yung mas bata si hope. Si hope ang palaging uh, umaakay kay faith upang tuloy na maglakad. And that is what the readings of today are telling us. Authentic faith waits and is led in hope. Yan. Sa atin pong first reading mula sa Aklat ng Karunungan, Wisdom 18, 6-9, sabi po doon, ang Israel kailangan matutunang maghintay sa kaligtasan ng Diyos sa Passover. And then, sa Hebrews naman, second reading po natin, Hebrews 11, chapter 11, verse 1 to 2, verse 8 to 19, sabi doon, By faith, sa pamagitan ng pananampalataya, 
si Abraham natutong sumunod kahit hindi niya alam kung saan papunta. Kahit na kailangan niyang maglakbay ng utay-utay at muling manirahan sa tolda. No? So, yan ang faith ni Abraham. Willing to wait, willing to be led in hope. And of course, sa gospel po natin, iba't ibang mga sayings at iba't ibang pangaral ng Panginoon tungkol sa pagtatapos ng mundo. Pero sabi niya, you know, make preparations. Be vigilant. Yan. Ang tunay na pananampalataya, hindi po nawawalan ng lakas loob, ng kapanatagan, pag-asa. Sana po, sa ating sariling mga buhay, nakikita natin yan, yung magkaagapay na pananampalataya at pag-asa. Patungo kung saan tayo akayin ng Espiritu ng Diyos. Narito na po ang ating banal na misa mula po sa Oratory of Mary Queen of Apostles, Society of St. Paul, Local Community of Makati, 7708 St. Paul Road, San Antonio Village, Makati. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today's readings focus on our vigilant faith. We must be like faithful servants who stay awake waiting for their master. We need to open our hearts and minds so that we shall be aware of the Lord's coming into our lives, be it moments of prayer and reconciliation and recollection, in active service of our brothers and sisters, or in dramatic events. Our waiting must be an active waiting. And so let us now acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The night of the Passover was known beforehand to our fathers that with sure knowledge of the oaths in which they put their faith, they might have courage. Your people awaited the salvation of the just and the destruction of their foes. For when you punish our adversaries, in this you glorified us whom you had summoned. For in secret, the holy children of the good were offering sacrifice and putting into effect with one accord the divine institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Bless the nation whose God is the Lord the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our, our hope in you. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, Faith is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Because of it, the ancients were well attested. By faith, Abram obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out, not knowing where he was to go. By faith, he sojourned in the promised land as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs of the same promise, for he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and maker is God. By faith, he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age, and Sarah herself was sterile, for he thought that the one who had made this promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man, himself as good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and as countless as the suns on the seashore. All this died in faith. They did not receive what had been promised, but saw it and greeted it from afar and acknowledge themselves to be strangers and aliens on earth. For those who speak, thus show that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of the land from which they had come, they would have had the opportunity to return. But now they desire a be better homeland, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God for he has prepared the city for them. By faith, Abram, when put to the test, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promises was ready to, to offer his only son, of whom it was said, through Isaac's descendants shall bear your name. He reasoned that God was able to raise even from the dead, and he received Isaac back as a symbol. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord jesus said to his disciples do not be afraid any longer little flock for your father is pleased to give you the kingdom sell your belongings and give alms provide money bags for yourselves and do not wear out an inexhaustible treasure in heaven that no thief can reach nor moth decay, destroy. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. Gear your loins and light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gear himself have them recline a table and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent steward, whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time? Blessed is the servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly I say to you, the master will put the servant in charge of all his property. But if the servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants to eat and drink and get drunk. Then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day at an unknown hour and will punish the servant severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. That servant who knew his master's will but did not make preparations nor act in accord with his will shall be beaten severely. And the servant who was ignorant of his master's will but acted in a way deserving of a severe beating, shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So sa muli, isang uh, mainit na pagbati sa ating mga kasambuhay, mga OFWs, Overseas Faith Witnesses. Sa aking huling misa, hindi ko nabanggit yung pangalan ng aking dating kaklase sa seminaryo na ngayon isang kapitan ng barko, si Captain June Abad at kanyang mga kasamahang mga taga-barko, kanyang mga crew. At uh, pati na yung ating mga kababayan sa Canada, sa Saudi Arabia, sa US, sa California, even in Papua New Guinea, in Indonesia, in Malaysia, in Taiwan, in uh, Hong Kong. So, salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik at sana patuloy niyong uh, sundan yung ating uh, pagdiriwang na ito. You know, I came across this particular article and I would like to share this with you. Ang uh, nakasulat doon ay ganito. To understand what life is, you have to visit three locations. The first location is the hospital. The second is the prison. The third is the cemetery. At the hospital, you will understand that nothing is more beautiful than health. In prison, you'll see that freedom is the most precious thing. At the cemetery, you will realize that life is worth nothing. The ground we walk today will be our roof tomorrow. Let us therefore remain humble by having fear of God and respect for its other. 
bilang isang pare sa palagay ko, napuntahan ko na ang lahat ng mga lugar na itong binanggit dito sa ating kwento. Hospital, dahil ako din ay naging isang uh, volunteer chaplain na makatemed for five years. Ang uh, kulungan, dahil malimit, ako din ay naiimbitahan magmisa sa mga nakakulong, sa mga preso. At ang sementeryo, bilang isang pare, ay kasama yan sa aming ministry para magmisa, hindi lamang magmisa, ay maghatid hanggang doon sa uh, himlayan ng uh, mga namatay. Kaya, more or less, I have a vivid description and idea of what this story is talking about. At doon natin nakikita that indeed life is fragile. That we are all but pilgrims in this world. Nothing is permanent. The only thing permanent is change. That is why we have to make sure that we have lived our life to the full. After all, it's not about the length of our years, but the quality of life that we've lived. So for the past days, we have reflected on the last realities and as well as the exercise of good stewardship. Ano ba yung last realities na tinutukoy ko? Walang iba kundi yung last judgment, death, heaven, or hell. Sa panahon natin ngayon, eh, mga bagay na miminsan na lang tinatalakay o di kaya basta na lang dinidiscount o kung maaari ay kinakalimutan na that is something of the past. Kung baga kapag yan ay ang pinag-uusapan, oh, that is uh, old school. Yan ay makalumang bagay. Pero ang katotohanan ay hindi naman humahaba ang ating buhay. In fact, mas umiikli sa dinami-dami ng uh, mga sakit-sakit na dumadapo sa atin at sa yung klase ng lifestyle na ating uh, uh, ginagawa ngayon. So, you cannot discount the fact and the reality remains, the truth is we are mortal beings and to be able to live our life fully, a meaningful life, a purpose-driven life, it would do us well to live our life according to the last realities. Indeed, St. Augustine said, we only have one point of destination and that is heaven, one point of departure and that is sin. Huwag natin kalimutan, kaya nga binanggit dito sa ating Ibanghelyo, for where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. Saan ba nakatuon ang iyong puso? Si St. Paul ay nagsabi ng ganito, To live is Christ, to die is gain. And that is encapsulized in one word. This is our mission in life. Christi fi kation. To be like Christ. That we should be able to live our lives to Him, through Him, with Him, for Him, and about Him. Everything should be about Jesus, whatever it is that you do now. For your profession is also your vocation. Kaya kahit pa man dito sa ating uh, pagdiriwang, dito sa ating Sambuhay TV Mass, yung ating mga volunteers na nandito, yung ating mga servers, ayan, direct, pakipokus yung mga kamera. Katulad halimbawa ni Sister Beng, ayan ay uh, aktibo, may trabaho, bilang, uh, bilang isang homemaker at uh, nagtatrabaho sa online, pero nandito. Ewan ko na lang kung anong mga dahilan ang sinasabi niya sa kanyang amo para siya makapunta rito, para makapagsilbi sa Diyos. Si Brother Tos, isang negosyante, pero nandito. Si Sister Pearl, ay isang negosyante din at homemaker, pero nandito. Nagawa ng panahon at oras para makapagsilbi sa Diyos. At most of all, yung ating choir, no? ang pamilya Yater. Meron na yatang naiwan para mag, uh, mag-alaga ng kanilang apo, pero ang majority ay nandito. No? Kung maaari lamang dalhin yung apo para isama sa pagkanta. Kasi ang kanilang paniniwala, singing is praying twice, ay dadalhin dito. So what I'm saying is, there should be no, no excuse in serving the Lord. Because you find joy in serving the Lord. Kaya ang iba sa atin sasabihin, wala naman akong, saka na lang ako magsisilbi sa Diyos kapag ka magre-retire na ako. Eh nung nag-retire ka, eh lumpulubo ka na. No? Wala, ka ng, uh, wala ka ng lakas. Uh, puting-puti ng buhok mo I mean, 
yun bang ibibigay mo kay Lord kung kailan medyo medyo patapon ka na no? quote unquote kumbaga wala ka nang maibubuga so actually to be able to live your life to the full is is all simultaneously as an expression of being a servant of the Lord hindi naman contradictory to one another yan at yan nga ang uh, naisip parating sa ating ibanghelyo ngayon ano ba talaga ang pinaka-importante sa ating buhay? Oo, may kanya-kanya tayong mga profesyon, may kanya-kanya tayong mga misyon. Siyempre, hindi mo naman po pwedeng iwanan yung, yung pamilya. Kailangan magtrabaho para may maipakain sa pamilya. Pero tandaan natin ang lahat ng mga yan, kapag ka naiisentro sa Panginoon, ay nagkaroon ng kabuluhan. No? So, there's a big difference between sacrifice and suffering. They say that suffering is when you do not include Christ in your in your pains, in your struggle. But sacrifice is when you lift it up to the Lord and involve the Lord in your struggle in life. Kaya yan ang sabi ni St. Paul. To live is Christ and to die is gain. It is basically the exercise of good is stewardship. Indeed, how true the words of St. Teresa of Avila when she said, Let nothing disturb you. Only God suffices. And then, St. Augustine, in his classic words, My heart is restless, O Lord, until it rests in you. We will now stand and with firm conviction profess our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Father, through Jesus, has set us as faithful stewards over his people. May we remain ever vigilant and faithful Aware of our limitations, we pray. Lord, listen to your church. Lord, listen to your church. May the community of God's people set their hearts on never failing treasures, faith, hope, love, peace, and life eternal. We pray. Lord, Lord, listen to your church. May government leaders attend to the needs of the people with wisdom and gentleness, never lording over God's flock, but giving it in a shepherd's care. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your church. May the sick, the elderly, and the handicapped keep their faith alive and be attentive to God's comforting presence through the care of their family and friends. We pray. Lord, Lord, listen to your church. May young people not measure success solely in terms of worldly gains, but instead see it as an opportunity to render service to their neighbors. We pray. Lord, listen to your church. Father, as we await the fulfillment of your promise, we offer our prayers in the hope of arriving at your heavenly kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
May dear friends that may sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, Lord, with all the angels and the saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, be sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullest of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Behold, Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, 
Happy are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel I am about to leave my family, and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God, and you did it confidently trusting that everything will be all right because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family and Mary be our mother too. Amen. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessed and almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God.
Maraming salamat sa ating tagapag, uh, paring tagapamuno ng banal na misa. Ngayon naman po'y dadako tayo sa pabaong katikismo. Mula po sa Laudato Si ni Pope Francis, patuloy po nating pinagninilayan ang mga pagninilay at pag-aaral ni Pope Francis, What is Happening to Our Common Home? Chapter 1 ng Laudato Si. Sa ikaapat na puntos na kung saan dinidiscuss po ni Pope Francis yung pagbaba ng kalidad ng buhay ng tao at breakdown ng community at ng society, isa po sa mga pinopoint out ni Pope Francis, what is happening to our common home, ay yung tinatawag po niya na omnipresent media at digital world. Ayan. Omnipresent. Kahit saan ka pumunta? Oh, wala ng offline. Kailangan online, real time palagi. No? Nung araw po, very slow ang buhay. No? Kasi pwede kang magsabi na, ay, alam nyo, Walang telepono doon sa pupuntahan ko. Walang pager. May pager man, walang telepono. Hindi ako makakallback. Pero ngayon po, hindi na. No? Omnipresent. Kahit saan lupalop ka magsuot, there is always media and digital world. Yan. Now, ang sabi po ni Pope Francis, ang problema dito, may mga blessings ito sa mundo. O? Oh? Tignan lang natin yung weather report, eh, di ba? O, oh, biro mo, ngayon nakikita mo na ano yung weather report sa iba't ibang areas ng mundo for one week. no? Pero meron din daw po itong downside. Ano ang downside ng omnipresent media and digital world? Ang sabi po ni Pope Francis, it has made people stop to think deeply. Yan. Para bang mababaw na mag-isip ang tao. Hindi na nagme-memorize. Hindi na kailangan mag-memorize kasi kung kailangan may hanapin, Google, browser. No? O, kaya sabi ni Pope Francis, we forget that noise and distractions can be possibly information overload. Yan. So, we have so much information overload pero ang kulang so much pero mababaw oh ang tao hindi na po na stimulate na magbasa makinig mag-isip ng malalim no Ngayon, sabi po ni Pope Francis ang talagang tunay na karunungan kanya that must be developed by lahat ng nilikhang tao can only be achieved by self examination can only be achieved by dialogue, encounter with persons. No? True wisdom, kanya, cannot only be acquired by mere accumulation of data. O ang daming data, overload, confused. Sabi ni Pope Francis, that is another kind of pollution. Ang tawag po niya dyan ay mental pollution. See? Meron ka ng pollution ng hangin, meron ka ng pollution ng noise, meron ka ng pollution ng chemical. Ngayon naman, sa buhay po ng nilikhang tao, ang sabi po ni Pope Francis, ang ating mundo ngayon, punong-puno ng mental pollution. Real relationship with other people is replaced by The type of internet communication, kanya, that enables us to choose to eliminate relationships at whim. Yan. Para bang, oo, madali nang mag-unfriend, mag-block ng tao. No? So much so na yung emotion, hindi mo na ine-express. Basta i-unfriend mo na lang. Basta i-unfriend uh, mo na lang, i-block mo na lang. Oh, huwag mo nang kausapin, bayaan mo na. So, yung sama ng loob mo, nasa loob pa rin. Oh, hindi lumalabas. Oh, you don't solve it. No? Today's media can enable us to share knowledge and affection. Pero ito, sabi ni Pope Francis, but it shields us from direct contact with pain. 
from direct contact with fear, with joy, with the complexity of personal experiences. Suma total, there is deep melancholic dissatisfaction with interpersonal relationship, a sense of isolation. Totoo po yan. A sense of isolation. Marami kang kaibigan, maraming nagla-like sa'yo, pero parang kulang. Kulang. No? So, ito ba ang uri ng buhay na atin pong pinapangarap? Again, Pope Francis says, this is now happening in our common home called the world. Ang kalikasan. Sana po, tituloy natin yan next time. Ano? In the meantime, we would like to invite all of you to be a kasambuhay Pauline cooperator. Una po, salamat sa inyong mga love offerings. Nasa screen po natin ang mga accounts para po sa inyong patuloy na pagsuporta ng atin pong apostolado. Be a blessing to, for other people. Share your blessings. Pangalawa, you can be a kasambuhay Pauline cooperator by promoting po itong apostolado po natin Nasa screen po natin ang ating pong mga digital accounts at gayon din po ang ating mga cable network channels na gamit ng TV Maria. Ipamalita po natin ito sa ating mga friends at sa ating mga relatives. You can also be a mission partner by texting us your mass intentions and your short messages. Kaya nasa screen naman po natin ang ating dedicated text number. Sa ngalan po ng St. Paul Audiovisuals at ng Sambuhay TV Production, pinangungunahan po ni Father Resti de la Peña at lahat po ng aming mga temporary profess na mga brothers at uh, si Kiv Di Matatak na malapit ng Mordanan bilang pare. Sa ngalan po nila, iniiwan po natin ang panalangin ito ni Blessed James Alberione to spend the week well. My dear and sweet Mother Mary, keep your holy hand upon me. Guard my mind, my heart, my senses, that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words and actions, that I may please you. And Jesus, my God, Jesus and Mary, give me your most holy blessings. Oh,